Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sam. I'm a certified Notion consulting partner and I help agency owners and creatives grow with systems. And welcome to this new series, Notion for Teams. In this next set of videos, I'll be walking through the fundamentals of Notion and more specifically how Notion can be used for teams. Every time I work with clients, I get the same question over and over. Is there a resource that employees can go to to get up to speed quickly? Well, this is that resource. This is the set of videos that you can show your team once you've set up your workspace for everything they need to know in terms of using Notion within and collaborating as a team. In this course, I'll be covering blocks and the markdown editor, the sidebar, team spaces, pages and subpages, databases and linked views of databases, settings, sharings and notifications, and then a full overview intro of a demo workspace, my template Notion for agencies. So in today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is Notion? So Notion is essentially a very powerful note-taking app or a productivity software and it allows its users to create custom workspaces based on their exact needs and requirements. Sometimes uh, the admin or the project managers will hire people like me, Notion consultants, to get the Notion workspace set up, but it does allow full 100% customization. A big appeal of the software is it allows users to create these all-in-one workspaces where teams can easily collaborate and get company-wide visibility on work. So what can Notion be used for? The first and probably the most popular use case uh, of Notion is for knowledge management. So lots of companies will set up their company wikis in Notion, which may include and not limited to their mission, vision and values, their guiding principles, employee benefits and employee and company policies, as well as their processes, procedures and SOPs. And Notion is great at being able to upload and, and create all of these documents natively inside of Notion, and then also being able able to track the sort of verification of these documentation. So for example, you may have an SOP that's been set up and you can mark it off as needs review and then you can ask someone to review it and then someone could then verify the SOP to make sure everything's up to date and verified. Another use case of Notion is for project management. So you can create both projects and tasks in Notion. You can also create dedicated project templates that might contain but not limited to tasks, notes and meetings. And what this means is you could open up a project page and have everything there in the page that you need to sort of manage the project and push the project along. Notion also natively offers things like progress bars, you can have timeline views, Gantt charts, so you really can have any sort of view or any sort of idea of the progression of a project by using the tools that they give you. Notion is also great for strategy, so you can create OKR dashboards or objectives and key results. And a bit like how you would manage the projects, you can create these dedicated templates where you might have an objective and then links with inside it the key results. And that's all relating up to a final uh, progress bar for that particular objective. You can relate these to dates. And so you can see your objectives within the particular quarters that if they fall within. And you can also um, make sure that the objectives stay hidden from, the, from other people in the team by putting them within different team spaces. Finally, Notion can also be used for uh, HR or people management. So you can create things like um, recruitment dashboards where you can see each of the different roles that you're currently hiring and you can manage uh, who's hiring them, the interviews, the different applicants, and then finally the successful candidates. You can then turn those candidates and create personal dashboards for them. So each of the employees in your company may have a dashboard to see their tasks, their notes, their meetings, their objectives, all from one page. And then also if you make use of Notion's um, automations, either in the buttons or the database automations, you can create things like onboarding checklists. So once a new hire is onboarding, they can go for an onboarding checklist and get up to speed nice and quickly. So finally, what are some pros and some cons with using Notion? 
Starting with the biggest pro, I think it's 100% customizable. And so what this means is that you can build a workspace when you're at a particular size and then the Notion workspace can scale with you. So you can stay in that one workspace using that one tool and, and sort of scale as you need to as it becomes required for you to create these different systems. Because you are able to create an all-in-one workspace, it also has the possibility to save you some money because you can limit your tech stack and just have one tool to be your knowledge management, project management, all that kind of stuff. And then because it is an all-in-one solution it does encourage collaborative work and this is often quite important for teams that are working remotely it means the, the channels of communication are opened up everyone's aware of what is currently on everyone's plate and it reduces people working in silos and then an additional pro i'll just add on there is the sort of ui ux of notion it's really pleasing to the eye you can create these really beautiful workspaces um, that it sort of encourages user engagement um, and that's something that you won't find in tools, for example, like monday.com that has a bit more of an outdated uh, UI UX. So what are some cons with uh, Notion? Well, the first con, it actually is a side effect of one of the pros we spoke about, which is its customizability. And that's because first of all, you have to build these systems yourself, which can create a lot of work uh, up front. Uh, and then also if you don't build it correctly, uh, inefficiencies can begin to creep up. Uh, maintenance can become a bit of a workload. And instead of it becoming a tool that's meant to increase productivity, it actually becomes a bit of a burden uh, that reduces productivity. A solution to this is obviously hiring someone like myself, a Notion consultant who can uh, create and lay the foundations for uh, future success. Um, and I would say that's a really important step uh, when you first start using Notion, as long as you have sort of the best practices laid out in the front uh, as you go on, uh, that this should become less of an issue. Another con of Notion is that even though it's advertised as a all-in-one tool, it doesn't need to be and shouldn't be used uh, for all use cases. So the example I always use is that if you are a small team and you want a CRM and it's very basic in that you just need to get a lead and see it through the sales pipeline, you might need to add referrals, see meetings, add proposals, then that's all absolutely fine. But if you're a team of 100 people, you've got all different types of uh, leads coming from all different locations, you need automations to send out emails, you need all this kind of thing, then Notion might not be the tool for that exact use case. You might be better off using something like HubSpot, for example. Um, and so I put this in the con list because I think sometimes people get ahead of themselves and start using Notion for absolutely everything. Um, but if there is a tool and a solution uh, that is gonna be better uh, at fulfilling the, the, the problem, uh, then you should use that instead of Notion um, and maybe consider using Notion for other use cases. So thanks very much for joining us on this first lesson in Notion for Teams and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more uh, and I'll see you on the next one.